743, and it is the first time that we have had new Vancouver Police Chief Adam Palmer here at the BT Studios. And Chief Palmer, does that still sound interesting and new and different to you? <laughs> well, I spent five years as deputy chief, but having the deputy part taken off and now just being chief, it does sound a bit different, yes. Love your story. Uh, Vancouverite, born and raised. This is your city. Did you ever dream that you'd be police chief one day? No, I didn't. No. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a police officer, so that part was something I'd always dreamed of. But really never thought about being chief until probably 2010 after the Olympics. I got promoted to deputy chief. And at that point, I realized yeah, there was potential. So I started looking at it then. But really, up to that point, no. How does the decision process work for the ascending from deputy to chief? You said there's, there are three deputies? That's right. There's three deputy chiefs. So when Jim Chu announced his retirement, which was a bit of a surprise, uh, we didn't see that coming. Um, the police board had a competition, they opened it up nationally so people could apply from all across Canada and within Vancouver Police, uh, there's three deputies and two applied for the chief's position. No rest for the chief of police, certainly immediately everybody says, what are your priorities? I'm going to ask a priority that seems to be making news in a constant basis right now. Mm -hmm. Marijuana dispensaries, your thoughts on it and right. the new news about them. Okay. So marijuana is very topical, obviously. It's been in the news every day for the past uh, couple of uh, months anyways. Marijuana is something that is illegal. The dispensaries are illegal, so I'll just start by saying that. But having said that, being a police department with many different things going on in the city, we do have to prioritize what we do. And when I look at all the different things happening in Vancouver, marijuana dispensaries are not at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. The things that are at the top of my list are things like organized crime, dealing with people that are affecting marginalized people in our city, victimizing marginalized people, people committing violence, heroin, cocaine, methamphetamine, fentanyl, drugs like that, definitely take a priority over marijuana. Right. So, we, so go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, we have done nine search warrants so far yes. on dispensaries, but it's not a priority at this point in time. And we have spent considerable effort going after more serious criminals and more serious type crimes. And when you talk about marginalized uh, people, uh, there are many on the downtown east side. And how does yes. the force deal with what has been identified as a mental health issue on the downtown east side? Mental health is an issue in the downtown east side, but I'll say it's an issue throughout the city, right. throughout Metro Vancouver. It's Fair. not specific to that neighborhood. That's an area that uh, it's really quite interesting because the way policing has changed over the years during my time is that when I first came on, I think there was more of a focus just on the law enforcement aspect. Either something was against the law or it wasn't against the law. But now, over the you know past few years, we've really had a bigger focus on social issues that do relate to law enforcement and policing. Mental health is one of them. And it's also an area where we put considerable effort and resources into combating. And we have some teams that specifically go out, work with Vancouver Coastal Health. And I'll just say that Vancouver Coastal Health has been an amazing partner with us. Excellent. And we have some really good teams in place that do help people proactively that are suffering from mental illness. Now, switching gears, sticking with a sort of a downtown east side theme, that market on the downtown east side moving from from uh, its current location to Powell Street. Many residents and businesses are concerned about this move. Uh, you're putting people's minds at ease by saying there will be a police presence there over the course of those market days. Right, so the market is currently in the location where the old United We Can is down in the uh, unit block East Hastings. There is a plan, we've been working with the city of Vancouver and with the people that are on the street, the people that are vending, and there's a plan to move the market to 501 Powell Street, so up in the area of Oppenheimer Park. There's also another site actually right across the street from the unit block East Hastings on the south side of the street that we're also going to be using for market space as well. And the reason for the move is because that market was bleeding too far down Hastings Street, is that why? Well that actually that block is going to be under construction. So they're oh, building okay. a new building there, there's going to be scaffolding going up and that whole block will be closed off. So out of necessity for doing the construction that market will have to move. Okay, let's talk about policing in terms of numbers of officers on the ground in this city as the city does grow. We keep talking about and hearing about the population growing. Right. Do we have enough in place now? What's the plan moving forward? What do you see happening? Um, number of resources is always something I'm looking at. Um, I'll tell you that the men and women of the Vancouver Police Department do an absolutely amazing job and that's one of the things that I'm so proud of to be chief of this police department is we have amazing people and sometimes we just hear about negative things with police but quite frankly every day our officers are out there doing an incredible job. Agreed. Keeping the citizen, keeping I the should citizen have said safe. that goes without saying. Right. So as far as numbers go, like everybody that's in any kind of civic government across the country, there are budget pressures. We are right. holding some vacancies right now. We are doing a very good job with what we have. In uh, your opinion, how many more do we actually need? 
How low are we, do you think? Well, I think our authorized strength of 1,327 officers is sufficient to police the city. The pressure we have right now is that we are holding 59 vacancies. So that does cause some pressure on us. Right. However, we have made the best of it, and we've made some reallocations within the department, and we're trying to uh, do the best we can with what we have. Certainly. Uh, having a member of my family on the force, I know how good the people are. Shout right. out to Cindy Vance and uh, all those who have helped us and kept us safe. One last quick question for you. Sure. If we're walking by a dog in a car trapped in the heat over this heat wave this weekend as citizens, right. what can we do? I call 911. 911. Yeah. Good to know. Thank you very much, Chief Palmer. Nice to meet you. Hope to see you again under good circumstances.